Ever wondered how ethical hackers keep social media safe? Today we're diving into their world with the top 10 social media hacking tools in Kali Linux. We're talking about tools that can crack passwords, sniff out data on public Wi-Fi, and expose security flaws you didn't even know existed. These tools are for educational purposes only, and we're going to learn how to use them ethically. Let's get it. First up, we've got the Social Engineering Toolkit, or SET for short. This bad boy is like the Swiss Army knife of social engineering attacks. We're talking phishing pages that look so real, they'd fool even your tech-savvy friend, fake wireless access points to snag unsuspecting users, and email attacks that could make you think twice before opening that you won a free cruise. Message. SET isn't about being a malicious hacker. It's about understanding how these attacks work, so you can better protect yourself. The beauty of SET is its simplicity. It's got a user-friendly interface that even your grandma could navigate. It's designed to be accessible, even if you're not a coding whiz. But don't let that fool you, SET is incredibly powerful. Just remember, use it responsibly. Next up is Wireshark, the OG of network protocol analyzers. Imagine being able to see all the data flowing through a network, like some kind of digital detective. That's Wireshark in a nutshell. We're talking about using Wireshark to identify vulnerabilities in your own network, like unencrypted traffic or suspicious activity. Think of it like a checkup for your network. Wireshark lets you do that by giving you a deep dive into the packets of data traveling across your network. You can see the source and destination of each packet, the protocols being used, and even the content of the data itself, if it's not encrypted. Just remember, use it ethically. All right, time to step up our game with Metasploit, the big daddy of penetration testing frameworks. Imagine a toolbox filled with exploits, payloads, and all sorts of goodies designed to test the security of your systems. That's Metasploit in a nutshell. It's the go-to tool for security professionals and ethical hackers alike. You can use it to target a wide range of systems from web servers to databases to even mobile devices. But with great power comes great responsibility, right? Metasploit is a powerful tool, and it should only be used in controlled environments with proper authorization. Now, Metasploit does have a bit of a learning curve, but trust me, once you get the hang of it, it's like having a superpower. So, if you're serious about cybersecurity, Metasploit is definitely worth checking out. Let's talk Nmap, the network mapper that's as essential as your morning coffee for any ethical hacker. It's like having a blueprint of your target network, showing you all the open doors and potential vulnerabilities. We're talking about scanning for open ports, identifying the operating systems and services running on those ports, and even fingerprinting the versions of those services. Nmap is incredibly versatile. You can use it to scan a single IP address, a range of addresses, or even an entire network. And with its scripting engine, you can automate complex tasks and customize scans to your liking. So, whether you're a security professional, a network administrator, or just someone who cares about their online security, Nmap is an indispensable tool. It's like having a security guard for your network, always on the lookout for potential threats. Up next is Hydra, the password-cracking beast that can make even the strongest passwords tremble. We're talking about brute-forcing your way into accounts, trying thousands of combinations per second until you find the right one. Hydra's strength lies in its speed and flexibility. It can target a wide range of protocols from FTP to SSH to HTTP, and it can use a variety of attack methods, including brute force, dictionary attacks, and even hybrid attacks. But here's the catch. Hydra requires a bit of technical know-how. You need to understand the different protocols, attack methods, and payload options. There are plenty of resources available online to help you get started with Hydra. So if you're serious about password security, Hydra is definitely worth checking out. Ever forgotten a password? Yeah, me too. But what if you could crack your own forgotten passwords? That's where John the Ripper comes in. We're talking about cracking passwords from hashed files, which is how passwords are typically stored on systems. John the Ripper takes those hashed passwords and tries to reverse the process, finding the original password. It's also a valuable tool for security professionals who need to audit password strength 
or recover passwords from compromised systems. John the Ripper isn't a magic bullet. It can take a long time to crack passwords, especially if they are strong and complex. That being said, John the Ripper is still a powerful tool that every ethical hacker should have in their arsenal. It's a reminder that no password is uncrackable and that strong, unique passwords are essential for good security hygiene. Let's talk Maltego, the open source intelligence tool that's like having a team of digital detectives at your fingertips. We're talking about gathering information from publicly available sources, connecting the dots, and uncovering hidden relationships. You enter a name, an email address, or a domain name, and Maltego goes to work, scouring the internet for any publicly available information related to your target. It's a data visualization tool that lets you see the connections between different pieces of information. Now, Maltego is a powerful tool, but it's important to use it ethically. We're talking about gathering information that's already publicly available. So whether you're a security professional conducting reconnaissance, a journalist investigating a story, or just someone who's curious about their online footprint, Maltego is an invaluable tool. It's a reminder that information is power and that knowing where to look is half the battle. All right, let's talk about Burp Suite, the web application testing tool that's like having a Swiss army knife for finding vulnerabilities in websites. We're talking about intercepting traffic manipulating requests and responses, and uncovering hidden vulnerabilities that could be exploited by malicious hackers. Burp Suite sits between your browser and the web server, acting as a man in the middle. This allows you to intercept and modify the traffic flowing between your browser and the server, giving you complete control over the data being exchanged. Now Burp Suite is a powerful tool, but it's important to use it ethically. We're talking about testing your own websites or websites that you've been given explicit permission to test. You can use it to test for a wide range of vulnerabilities, from SQL injection, to cross-site scripting, to session hijacking. So, whether you're a web developer, a security professional, or just someone who wants to learn more about web application security, Burp Suite is an essential tool. Let's talk about Aircrack Eng, the Wi-Fi hacking suite that's like having a skeleton key for wireless networks. We're talking about cracking passwords, intercepting traffic, and even setting up fake access points. Aircrack Eng is a suite of tools, each with its own unique capabilities. You've got Aerodump Eng for capturing packets, Airplay Eng for injecting traffic, and Aircrack Eng for cracking passwords. But here's the thing about Aircrack Eng. It's not as simple as point and click you need to have a good understanding of wireless networking concepts like WEP, WPA, and WPA2 encryption. There are plenty of resources available online to help you get started with Aircrack Eng. And once you get the hang of it, it's like having a superpower in your ethical hacking arsenal. Finally, let's talk about Nikto, the web server scanner that's like having a security audit on demand. We're talking about scanning websites for known vulnerabilities, misconfigurations, and outdated software. Nikto works by sending a series of requests to a web server and analyzing the responses. It looks for things like common files and directories, server versions, and known vulnerabilities. Now, Nikto is a powerful tool, but it's important to use it ethically. We're talking about scanning your own websites or websites that you've been given explicit permission to scan, it checks for a wide range of vulnerabilities, and it's constantly being updated with new checks. So whether you're a website owner, a security professional, or just someone who wants to make sure their website is secure, Nikto is an essential tool. So there you have it, the top 10 social media hacking tools in Kali Linux. These tools are used by ethical hackers and cybersecurity professionals every day to make the digital world a safer place. Remember, it's all about using these tools responsibly and ethically. If you're interested in learning more about ethical hacking and cybersecurity, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. We've got a ton of great content coming up, including tutorials, tool reviews, and real-world examples of ethical hacking in action. Until next time, stay safe online and keep learning.